How's it going YouTube? Pokemon Hatch here, back with another Pokemon card opening. We are still doing Hidden Fates. Just got a um, pre-ordered case of 10 in. If you watched the last 100, par um, 100 pack opening, uh, we did pull um, that shiny Charizard, so please be sure and check that out. We also got two Synthony, uh, uh, Cynthia cards. So we're gonna get back into it again. We're trying to still looking for the shiny Mewtwo. Would love to have uh, another shiny Charizard as um, you know uh, that last one we had off the uh, it was kind of off centered. So we'd like to have one that's more of a PSA 10 uh, copy, but we'll see. So let's get into this. We have a hundred packs. We're gonna do it in three videos. So I'm gonna do uh, 40, probably 30 and 30. So I've been testing my phone out lately and uh, it seems like it just kind of the video just shuts off after about 31 minutes so we're just going to try to get, get as much of this done as possible we might even do the thing where i just open up a bunch of packs and stack them all and go from there so there's a code card and we're gonna do four to the front and go with water energy tenant surges strategy Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina Suggestion, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander Shiny right off the bat. Okay, that's about the fourth or fifth time. Ooh, and a Rainbow Rare, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Awesome. <laughs> it's so funny to just like pull a Rainbow Rare so often that you almost don't even get excited about it. It's like the, the cards that would excite me in this set now are the gold cards and getting a shiny Charizard, shiny Mewtwo, but those are still awesomely beautiful cards. And just, <laughs> it just sucks that pulling them so much, you just kind of get kind of immune to it. The, the excitement, I guess, you know, the first time you pull it, that's one thing, but um, I guess after a while, you know, yeah, it is what it is. We got Metapod, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Reverse Hollow Energy and a Kangaskhan non holographic. All right. Hope everybody's been finding Hidden Fates a little bit easier. The Pokeball set's about to drop this week, so I have a few of those pre ordered through Game Nerds. And luckily, unlike the Elite Trainer box, um, I think I'll be getting my order and won't have anything canceled. So we'll see how that works out. Um, excited to see the shiny. Metagross and Zero Arc in that, so that'll be cool. We got a Brock's Peter City Gym uh, Reverse and a Mr. Mime non-holographic. So yeah, but as I've said in other videos, the one I'm really looking for is, is the Ultra Premium set. That's uh, just going to be an amazing set. And I think, said it again, everybody's sleeping on that set. They're all crazy about the Elite Trainer Box right now, but that set is going to it has two gold cards in it shiny Rayquaza the giant promo has 15 packs in it I mean it is a little bit expensive holographic Jesse and James at a hundred dollars but and the play man at it is just absolutely sick it's so awesome it's like all the shiny legendary Pokemon in it it's so neat so there's a code card yeah so um, what do we got four okay we got fire energy Chansey Graveler, Giovanni's Exile, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, Voltorb, Ralts, another shiny. We've already got him in a non-holographic Golem, but we've pulled Ralts about four or five times now. But eh, happy to have multiples of the shinies. Hold on to for years to come. You never know. Looks like we might have something in here. I don't know. Let's see. But I think... I still having fun opening up uh, Hidden Fates. I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of duplicates now. Um, my last opening was really great though because I got a couple gold car a gold card type of Coco I think it was um, two Cynthia's. I got a Lady Trainer and the shiny Charizard of course. So ooh Guzzlord GX full art. Okay we don't have this one yet. So that's another one off of the list and a Wigglytuff GX. Okay. Let's see this bad boy up. Awesome. That's another one to the uh, to the collection. We're one step closer. I think my kind of plan is I have one more 
one more case of these that I want to open up and then a couple pokeballs and ultra premium collections and then I'm just gonna go and say okay we're gonna do singles for the rest of it because it's just not very cost effective to keep opening up all this stuff to complete the set so we got Magmar, Farfetch'd, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, Coughing Reverse, and a Clefable. Is this going to be the Elite Trainer Box that kind of bucks the trend of getting getting the, getting two shiny full arts? Let's see. I'd be happy with a gold card. That would be great. I mean, most of these boxes contain one shiny full art and two of the regulars. So it might have got everything we could from this box, but we'll see. Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pokemon Center Lady Reverse, and a Weezing. Got two more packs. So we'll see how this works out. Uh, all right, we got code card. Probably hiding that QR code. And I guess if people pause it at the right second when I flip it away, you're just going to get it anyway. But that's all right. Hey, you know, if you want to do that, free code cards, it's all good. Reverse hollow energy and a Brox training. All right, last pack. It's weird, the last pack always seems to be a Charizard. Or maybe I'm just noticing. Whoa. What's that? Oh, it's like some sort of like plastic. I guess it just got on the card when I when I did that. Interesting. So we'll do it this way. All right. Let's get into Leaf Energy. Then we got Jinx, Magmar, Farfetch'd, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Clefable Reverse, and a Pinsir GX. So we're still kind of staying with the... Um, the trend of uh, one shiny full art and two regulars and then usually like a um, a GX slot in the rare like you know like the rainbow or a Jesse and James or Giovanni's exile so usually about four or five hits per box so that's a that's a good box you know we got that guzzlord so we needed that one for our collection don't know if it was worth 50 bucks but you know it is what it is we're going to get into the next pack. All right. There is the code card. And I think maybe the last 10 I'll do the thing where I do all 10 at the same time. So we got Fairy Energy, Scyther, Magmar, Brock's Grit, Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Giovanni's Exile, and a Pinsir GX. So as always with these hunter pack openings, I have to split it into three videos, but if the video cuts out, I'm just going to not even worry about messing with it and just go on to record the next video. So every hunter pack opening is going to be in three videos. So it just makes it easier on me that way. I just don't have time to edit. I have a, I have a real job that I do. I do this for funsies. So it's all good. Magikarp, Paris and wheezing actually that Paris was the last card and we pulled that in the last um, last opening that completed our reverse hollow of I think there's like around 65 or so cards and it, it was the last card I needed to complete the master set hollow so now I just need all the shiny vault ones of which I'm missing about about 15 I don't know maybe maybe about 15 of the shiny um full rgx's i have all of the regular shinies except i think three or four of them i want to say it's somewhere around there so oh a quagsire okay we've only pulled him like twice before i think so that's always nice he's actually worth quite a bit about 12 13 dollars i think and an arbok regular on the end um interestingly enough i don't know if it's because he's playable or um it's just a very popular character i do love the purple but um, yeah, I'm not sure why that is, but for some reason he's kind of an expensive regular. Uh, so if someone could comment below and let me know why. Um, I don't know in the meta. Uh, let me read his thing. As often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may move a water energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. Huh, that's actually a pretty good ability. Maybe that is it. Hmm, okay. Farfetch, Box Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, Ekans Reverse, and a Zapdos Holographic. 
you know, you just get these holographics and you just move right by them. Hollows. Oh, I've said it before. They get such a such a bad rep, unfortunately. There is a code card. But so I guess that's why uh, that's a pretty good card to have in the meta. You're just constantly moving water energy around. Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Sword Strategy, Magmar, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris. Oh, Voltorb, all right, and a Lapras. We didn't have this one, so this is one of the one of the three or four regular shiny that we needed. That's such an awesome card. The blue just looks so cool. But honestly, with the shinies, if the if the blue was the regular and the red with the shiny, we'd all be like, oh man, that's a that's awesome color, you know. But I do like the blue. Blue is my favorite color. So that that metallic looking blue is just so cool. What an awesome looking card. So there we go. Yeah, so everybody, I hope everybody's pools have been going good or they're having a, you know, I know it's hard to find product. I really had to plan ahead on this one and pre-order a lot because I saw what happened with the Ultra Shiny GX. And it's just Brock's Grit. Okay. And a Gyarados GX. So I had to kind of plan for this one. I, I kind of saw this happen. And I've, I've noticed the shiny Charizard has been going down. I saw one sell for like $280 the other day. And, uh, you know, that thing was like seven, dollars $800 when the, but right before the Elite Trainer Box came out. It's crazy. I mean, people just, they, they jumped the gun way too quick on these stuff. So Missy Cerulean City Gym, Metapod, Giovanni's Exile, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Reverse Hollow Energy, and Erica's Hospitality. So we've got three packs left in this one. Hopefully this isn't one of those uh, stinker ETBs we had last time. I mean, we had two two Elite Trainer boxes um, and a last 100 pack opening. There were just like three hits. They were horrible. I mean, and then like the three boxes after that, I got Shiny Charizard and Cynthia's. I mean it's so it's so crazy with this stuff it's either it's so hit or miss absolutely miss hit or miss so maybe this is one of those missed ones oh i could have just uh could have just hexed myself there but because we're supposed to get a shiny full art in every uh every um full art gx in every box but i mean it's not guaranteed i have as i said i have had a box that didn't have it so maybe this is another one of those. Oh, a Beldum. Oh, another one we needed. Awesome. And an Eevee holographic. We didn't have the Beldum. So this is, I kind of feel like we're getting getting um, a, a whole slew of, uh, for lack of a better word, of ETBs that are kind of like everything that's kind of right in order. And I still kind of believe that last time when I, when I pulled that Charizard, I pulled everything around it. I pulled... The Ho Oh, I pulled the Galissa Pod, and I pulled um, Reshiram, which, if you look in the Shiny Vault, oh, I still have one pack left. Oh, losing my mind. We're ready to move on, and ooh, and looks like this might have the Shiny GX in it. I think we saw something. What is it? I, I would be curious to know if it was uh, somebody right by Guzzlord, though, because we pulled, I've done that twice now. I've pulled every, like, um, I pulled Ho Oh out of nine boxes. I had a oh there oh electrode. We do have electrode. Okay, that's weird. Electrode and Voltorb in the same uh, in the same box, but that's cool. That's all right. If I get if every other one is a double for me, I kind of call that a win in a way. I guess I don't know. With so many of these, um, I do have probably over fifty percent of the shiny vault one so the odds of me getting a double is gonna be pretty pretty good so we got scyther sabrina's suggestion pokemon center lady voltorb coughing cubone geodude jigglypuff voltorb reverse and a mew okay so that was the one box that was the other i would kind of like to keep them all separated so i can see what the hits from each box were so we'll start off with a new one. All right, and we have Lightning Energy, Farfetch, Box Peter City Gym, Chansey, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, 
Voltorb, Reverse Hollow Energy, and Electrode Non-Holographic Rare. I keep on looking at the cam uh, the timer on my camera because I'm always worried that I'm going to hit that. Like, It's weird. It's like yeah, about 20 minutes is usually about where I, uh, kind of my sweet spot. So um, I try to try to finish before then. But, you know, if I want to risk it and go a little bit over, we'll see. If I go over, oh, big deal. I'm not like some big channel that's uh, trying to be some big channel. I'm just kind of opening up cards, having fun. If I get a lot of people um, that enjoy the channel, great. If not, I'm not too worried about it. It's fun to record this stuff and have have for my enjoyment too. Metapod, Jinx, Magmar, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, Missy's Water Command Reverse, and a Jolteon, non-holographic rare. Okay, what do we got here in the next pack? We got a code card. And a Fighting Energy, Koga's Trap, Brock's Grit, Missy's Determination, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Atkins, Coughing, Cubone, Reverse Holler Energy, and Clefable, Non-Holographic Rare. All right, so no hits so far in this one, I don't think, right? So we might be, ooh, we might be having some good stuff coming up now. Hopefully some, could use some gold cards, always in, need that Mewtwo would like that um, a Charizard wouldn't say no to that again it's always nice to have those and a Jinx rare and another rainbow rare Moltres Zapdos and Articuno this is about the fourth or fifth one of those I've pulled but happy to have it I think that would be cool to get PSA graded not really worth that much but it's still a beautiful card it's kind of neat that they're making something like that not not really that hard to pull. So, you know, if somebody doesn't have enough money to spend on these cards or, you know, kids and stuff, maybe they can get lucky and pull that. Um, you know, I mean, that's always good, right? Uh, I mean, with this pack, even pulling the shiny Charizard is not that incredibly hard. You have a kid pull a 300 some dollar card. But I guess that, that could happen with anything. I mean, it's just the way it is. Sabrina's Suggestion, Charmeleon, Misty's Determination, Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck. Ooh, a Frogadier, Shiny Regular. Okay, cool. And a Mew, Non-Holographic Rare. We have pulled Frogadier already, but with two Shiny Regulars um, already pulled that we don't have to add the collection, it's not bad. I think we got to a place where like the case I opened up last a uh, few days ago. It actually had, I think I had, um, out of like the 19 shiny regulars I pulled out of 100 packs, only one of them was one that I hadn't got before. Isn't that crazy? Whoa, Articuno, GX. All right, shiny full art. We have pulled this one a few times, but happy to have it. And a holographic. All right, so that's three shiny full arts and all, and one of two duplicates not bad so we are kind of getting to the point where I'm almost kind of thinking I don't know if I want to enter open this other case or not I'm kind of feeling like I've used up all my luck in the last opening with the two Cynthia's and Char uh, Charizard but you never know so let's see what's oh and that wow that was an interesting uh, 10 packs that was only th really two hits with uh, the Articuno GX Full Art and a Frogadier. So that was kind of a stinker pack there. Oh well. All right, well we're gonna, we're gonna rapid do this last one and see how that works out. I kind of like doing that when, uh, when I feel like, um, feel like the luck needs to change, change a little bit. So let's go ahead and do this. So we'll go ahead and code card. code card I'll get good at this I swear All right, and another code card trying to multitask here 
let's see if I, the thing about this is if i get the if i if i get some really good cards here they're going to want to do this every time but it honestly you know it's obviously not going to change the cards i mean they are what they are in there you know i mean you can be as superstitious as you want but it's fun that way you know just like oh man opening up the cards this way this is how it does it for me you know or if i get a certain thing on the code card if i get a fire energy in a pack and i pull a charizard then obviously if you have a fire energy in the pack it's fun to do that stuff it's fun to be superstitious like that a little bit you know not, not, nothing wrong with that it makes it fun you know, and the, see, and if the next time, you know, maybe that last pack magic works out for you, and maybe it doesn't, you know. So we could, like, this one that I'm about to open up, the last one, is actually going to be the last pack magic, which will be the first pack magic. So let's see what happens with that. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. And let's see. So we'll just say. We'll just kind of go through this coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Kefairy. Uh, okay, and Vaporium Reverse, and Mew as a non holographic energy. And then we have Farfetch, Jinx, Misty's Determination, Charmander, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing. Ooh, a Dartrax. Okay, that's a pretty good hit. And a Misty's Water Command, a holographic. And Sabrina's Suggestion, Pokemon Center Lady, Scyther. Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Reverse Hollow Energy, Clefable, Non Holographic, and a Dark Energy. Okay, let's get you sleeved up. Not a bad pull at all. We do have Darchix already, but happy to add him to the team. Oop, I just pulled. Okay, so, so there's some silvering there. Brock's Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude. Eevee, Jigglypuff, Reverse Brock's Pewter City Gym, and a Golem. Non Holographic Energy, Metapod, Magmar, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Jolteon Reverse, and a Kangaskhan Non Holographic. Um, non Holographic Rare, Lieutenant Surge Strategy, Chansey's, Misty's Cerulean City Gym, Coughing, Staryu, you see it? Ekans, I think it's a Katana. Um, Caterpie, Paris. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my God. There it is. That's who I wanted. See, now I'm going to want to open up cards like this every th single time and write your GX on the end. Got my boy Mewtwo finally. And that absolutely looks immaculate. I mean, absolutely immaculate. It's got to be a PSA 10. It's got to be. There are no issues with this card at all absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous oh love it freaking love it yeah let's go mm-hmm yep that's it one of my boy i mean i like I'm, i was super ecstatic about shiny charizard but just as happy about that i mean mewtwo's my boy that's my dude so we got all right moving on charmeleon brock's grid farfetch geodude pikachu clefairy cubone jigglytuff Jigglypuff, Snorlax, Blaine's Last Stand, and a Darkness Energy. Then Metapod, Jinx, Magmar, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, and a Zerkatry. Shiny Full Art GX. So look at that. We got two Shiny Full Art GXs in one box. That does not happen very often. Um, I don't recall if I needed a Zerkatry or not. I think I did. But I'm not exactly sure. But hey, we got the Mewtwo, and that was pretty good. So we got to finish off Koga's Trap, Missy Strulian City Gym, Lieutenant Surge Strategy, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck. Oh, and a Magmamite. Shiny regular. Okay. So that's pretty good. Four hits in this box so far. And we might have just a regular GX left over. Butterfree is the non-holographic with a fighting energy we got farfex box pewter city gym chancy star you jigglypuff ekans geodude cubone mew another mewtwo gx fire because that pack was fire pokemon center lady sabrina's suggestion sabrina's suggestion and missy's determination 
Well, all right, that was not bad at all. Super excited about that. That's uh, four, 40 packs in, and we got pretty good number of shiny full arts. So we did get four. So the one box did not have a shiny full art in it, but we made up for it in another box, and we got that Mewtwo. Oh, yeah. And we got one, two, three. Oh, wait, we got five. Okay, so five shiny full arts. Okay. And two of the rainbow rare legendary birds. Awesome. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Eight of the shiny regular. So we're pretty much, we're actually above on hits because we did get one extra shiny full art GX. So that was awesome. Great. That's number two on my list of things to get was the Mewtwo. That was what I was missing. So I'm going to continue and probably open up the rest of this case. We'll see. Um, so I'll see you on the next video when I order, when I open up 30 more packs and then 30 after that. So we'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.